Well, this is something a little different this morning. What I have here is a bucket of cappings from uh, beehives. Got a friend that does uh, honey, and she gave me one of these buckets of cappings. Uh, it's probably about probably about two thirds of it is wax, but there is a lot of honey in there. And this actually, it smells amazing. It smells like a bakery inside here. So what I got going is a little double boiler here, running off uh, propane. Uh, so inside the steel pot, I do have a glass Pyrex container, about oh, an inch and a half tall, just to keep the plastic off the bottom so it doesn't melt. This is a food grade, and I'm slowly gonna bring this up to temperature. And what should happen is the wax should all come to the top, honey stay at the bottom, and I'll be able to scoop it off. Now one thing I was told you to be careful of is that you don't want to cook the honey. You want to bring it up to about 65 degrees Celsius. So I got myself a little thermal gun here. And 65 degrees is the melting point of the beeswax. So uh, we'll bring it up slow. Once it gets to 65, then we'll turn it down and let it do its thing. So we're at 54.2 right now. So only about another 10 degrees to go. So we are dead on 65 now. So uh, I'm gonna try to feather back the burner and keep it at the temperature and I'll keep checking on it every 10, 15 minutes. So we're about two hours in and we get some liquid wax and honey just starting to boil up out of the sides. All of it is gone quite soft now. Except for this, of course, this high spot in the middle, which will slowly work its way down. But it is, it is starting to soften up. We're making some good progress now. All we got left is one ball of honey in the middle, the size of a bowling ball. Or not honey, but wax on honey. But you can see the dark honey all around it. And this smells so good. This smells just like a bakery. And unfortunately there is a couple bees that didn't <laughs> didn't make it in there, but they will all get strained out. And hopefully in another hour, this last ball will be completely melted and then the separation will start. The ball of wax is getting smaller. And more wax coming to the top. It's getting nice and thick up here. So I don't know if you can see it, but it's uh, moving quite well in there and quite easily. There's only maybe a quarter inch to a half inch of wax left on there. The pot's boiling good. But inside, we're only about 63 degrees temperature on the uh, honey. So what I did was I was able to take off a ton of wax. This is it here. It's gone to like a glue consistency. Now there is probably a little bit of honey in this. I don't know if we're really that worried about uh, trying to get it all out. This is just a first time and something to play around with on a Sunday. So our honey now is at the perfect temperature. So we're gonna let it boil here, or simmer, water boil, but the honey simmer for about a half hour at 65 degrees, and then we'll shut the heat off, pull the bucket out, and let the wax solidify. So we left the honey sit overnight to cool down, so the wax can solidify. There's more wax than I thought come to the surface, but as you see, underneath there, Pure honey, and lots of it. Now we will heat it up one more time in the oven, but it looked like it separated perfectly. Look 
with all that wax. Try to keep as many chunks out as I can, but we will filter it one more time. And that's sticky. <laughs> Probably got about two gallons of honey out of that out of these cappings. So we'll just warm it up a little bit here to make it a little softer. And then we can strain the last few chunks of wax out of it. And then it'll be good to put in bottles. Okay, now we get the honey warmed up. I'm gonna strain off that last little bit of wax. Now we're into the pure honey. Passes through much smoother. Still another gallon to go. Almost to the end. Which is good because our uh, bowl is getting pretty full. So here we are for our final heat. We're at 30, 30 degrees right now. Gonna bring this up slowly in the oven to about 60, 65, just to get that last little bit of wax to come to the top. Then we can scoop that off and bottle this up. So, got the big bowl of honey ready to go. Most of the wax taken off, just a tiny bit on the corner, the surface. I think is actually a little bit of hydrogen peroxide coming out, which is normal. Got the wax there. And I have my bottles cleaned and sterilized. And we got lids and tops ready to go. So, not sure how this is gonna work the best. I got a spoon for scooping, and I got a big measuring cup for dumping. So we'll see what happens. Well, I was expecting sticky and messy, but it was a little more than I thought. So now I got them back in the oven just for a little bit, just to bring the temperature back up so that when I put my lids on, I know they're going to pop down and seal correctly. Another couple minutes, and we're ready to go. And there we go. Pure golden sweetness. A lot of work, but I think worth the effort. It's gonna taste good. So, a couple hours has passed now, and uh, every jar has sucked down and sealed itself. So we are good. And of course, the wife likes to add her little touch. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Not a car video, but it's still pretty sweet. Catch you guys again next week. Have a good day.